Now, even as the court proceedings challenging his election victory are still under seal and are yet to be opened, Nigeria's president-elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu is reported to be forging ahead with his team selection process. This, of course, coming ahead of his appointing his full cabinet in keeping with the promise he made that he would hit the ground running on day one and would make his government into the engine of change that many Nigerians want, even in the face of complex national and global challenges. So who's likely to be in and who's likely to be out of this new administration, even as speculation heightens that the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabiamila, has been penciled in as the new all-important Chief of Staff. Well, for more on this, I'm joined now by Utumba Biodun Ajiboye, who is a member of the APC Presidential Campaign Council. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you, my brother. It's nice to be here again. I wonder if you would care to react briefly before we move on to the young man who was on before you, Femi uh, uh, Fullerin uh, Fala Falano, who is known as Fals. He's just released a new song called Yakub, very critical of the elections that brought your principal victory. Well, um, I have tremendous respect for our young people because we spent quite a lot of money training them and we should expect that um, the quality train training we gave to them should bear some fruits. The young man exhibited the kind of ebullience I expected of a well-trained young man. So I'm happy for him. Just that he is not well uh, conversant with the political happenings in Nigeria. He well, doesn't he's, know. He's questioning the legitimacy. Yes, he doesn't of know election, enough. Um, which a lot of people are. He doesn't know enough. We have witnessed elections from 79, 83, and all of that. We've had gathered enough experience to know the way it works. And how he, does it work? It doesn't work like. Um, the way the mind of the activists works. In other words, they're not entitled to expect they are very to, much to, entitled. To, to expect free and fair They are elections. very much entitled, but they are they have a shortfall. They have no sufficient information about what is going on. Now if government sets up INEC to superintend elections, you need to have sufficient information to tell us that INEC doesn't know what they are doing. And it, there's really not too much that can be achieved by this kind of agitation. The channels for uh, uh, routing your complaints are very open. Tribunals, the courts. Go there and make your case. And let's see if you have a point. Well, he also has a constitutional right to freedom of expression. Exactly, which yeah. is what I, I, I acknowledge sure, and do. I appreciate. So, but I shouldn't bother too much about it. Mm. I have a young boy in my house, uh, relatively younger than him, who does the same <laughs> agitation. I like uh, that. So, so I what understand. Do you do to him? I just when, make him when, to when understand he, he lacks. No, no, I make him to know that he lacks sufficient knowledge. If you don't have information, you can't think properly. For instance, if you say that the election is fraught with a lot of irregularities, point out the irregularity. Whatever irregularity that could make Labour Party to have 582,000 votes in Lagos. Oh, man. Give some credits, man. Right. Okay, well, let's move on from that. I expect you read through the front page of this day newspaper today, suggesting that the president-elect, Bola Tinubu, has started to put his team together. What further light can you shed on that report? Um, you must appreciate that I have been around this studio for about five years now, talking about the same subject. Since 2018, we have been saying that a man is coming to rule this country that will bring succor to the people of Nigeria. To rule or to govern? To this govern country. this country. Right. That will bring a lot of succor to the Nigerian people. That person is Bola Tinumbu. See, 
There is a difference between a man who has a wish, a willingness, expertise, know-how to govern a country, and a man who finds himself through political shenanigans or political you know, euphoria or happenings to say, look, I want to be president. That man that has become our president-elect is a man prepared for the job. And we, his lieutenants, have done so much work to ensure that he wins that election. We thank God that he was able to win in spite of all the Lined mind. Yeah, but let me just say yeah, that the campaign period is now oh over. Oh, God, well, fantastic. Well, what I'm asking you. you is what is, I mean, what further light can you shed on those I was coming there. that he's putting his team together? Yes, I was coming yeah. there. But in your particular characteristic, you cut me short. But I will <laughs> go back to my <laughs> argument. I was waiting so, for you to say that. <laughs> so what, what I'm saying to you is that that is a man who knows the art of governance right. and how it works. I'll give you an example. In 1999, when he became governor of Lagos, the guy gathered wise men, about 23 or more wise men, and told them, all of you in this room have been so experienced and tested. Give me a roadmap for Lagos for 50 years. How Lagos can become a numero uno numero uno among all the states of Nigeria put a plan together they did the result of that plan is what we are seeing in Lagos today what I'm saying is that a man who knows his onions a man who understands the art of governance is Bola Tinumbu right, so now he has now started mm. by at least choosing is chief of staff according to that newspaper report right now i want to assume that the newspaper report is correct because i mean for whatever it is worth well we're asking i mean you're a member of his inner, well, the, inner the, cabinet. The, the fact remains that the thought of femi bajabi amila as chief of staff is fantastic that is probably one chief of staff in the last 20 years that is probably more qualified to be chief of staff than anybody else. Right. Why do I say so? He has been in the House of Representatives for 16 years, thereabout. Being in the House of Representatives is to say that he understands, knows, and understands all the constituencies in Nigeria. Interacted with all of them on a daily basis. Being Speaker of the House of Representatives means that he has superintended, superintended over a wide range of interests within the Nigerian, Nigerian landscape. That tells you that that man as chief of staff will understand the political wisdom required to govern a country mm. and to advise his principal. Okay, well, we'll, we'll have to see if it, he in fact turns out to be. I have, a, as I have tremendous respect for Femi right. Bajabi Amila because I have lived 43 years in Surulere, in Lagos, and I have seen what he has done in Lagos. Right. The, the whole nooks and cranny of Surulere in Lagos is lighted up so, lit up so beautifully with. Uh, solar lights everywhere, roads start. I mean, we can't, we can't close our eyes to that because that shows that the man actually knows what he's doing. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see if um, the prediction um, is, 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 comes true. That oh, very bad. Abiy Amila is a good choice. Yeah. I mean, but, but what position are you being considered for and, and, and are you hoping to get? Because myself. I mean, because obviously you're part <laughs> of the team and um, as they say it's payback time isn't it well uh, for me to be honest with you and i'll tell you very honestly as i feel i'm telling nigerians i personally and my team have labored so much to ensure that bola Tinumbu wins the presidency so it's payback my time, interest is it? not about payback for me right my interest is that it does not disappoint nigerians because if it disappoints nigerians i and my generation, my children, will feel extremely disappointed mm. in me because of this effort. I have stuck out my neck for him. And I pray and I wish and I hope that 
we get it right. And how much will so, these appointments be about paying back those who helped him on the road to winning? The I am not sure the junct at the juncture we are now in this country, the issue should be pay back, but the issue should be get Nigeria on the right track. So you'd be happy if you were side sidelined? I would that's not the issue. The issue why I got into it is because I believed in him. Look, as far back as 2007, mm. 2008, I called this man out for a, a symposium and I said he should discuss what we call developmental democracy. What does developmental democracy mean? Since I have lived in Lagos, government upon government have offered excuses of no enough budget to tar roads. This man came as governor of Lagos and cleaned up all the roads, tarred all the roads, Lagos business districts. Mm. He, read, he, he got rid of all area boys in Lagos and he put something together that was extremely very serious. And you could see the serious mindedness in Bola Tinumbu. That was when I picked my interest from. So when I organized a, a seminar in 2008 and I said, you are the father of developmental democracy. Come and discuss it. I pitched him with Father Kuka. Uh, Dele Momodu and uh, Ruben Abati were the coordinators and compares for that event that year. What I'm saying to you, Charles, is that I have seen something good in Bola Tinumbu way back, and I believe in him was the reason why I followed him through. Right. From okay. primaries. We started from primaries. I went to him inside, his, inside that soapbox, or what do they call that glass house in the Eagle Square, four times during the primaries. I felt, I, 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 I feel is the leader Nigeria needs. So right. I was so interested in him getting the ticket. And to, to God be the glory, he got the ticket. So okay. we started the journey all over. Well, we saw in that article in this day newspaper, Wale Shoyinka, the Nobel laureate, saying that Mr. Tinubu needs to make restructuring a cardinal part of his plan for Nigeria. What can you tell us about Mr. Tinubu's plans for restructuring Nigeria? Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu is one person that believes in, in uh, what we call uh, 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 federalism, true federalism. What does true federalism mean? The, the federalism we currently practice have been largely diluted by some military mentality. So the long reign of the military diluted what our federalism should look like. So a man who is versed in political understanding now comes on the saddle to bring Nigeria back to the actual federalism we have always wanted. Call it restructuring if it pleases you. But what we're saying is true federalism, where the federating states can have the authority to develop along the lines of their potentials. That is what will make Nigeria great. Bolatinumbu is an apostle of true federalism. I can tell you that. Right. Free. Of course, he's got legal challenges facing him that raise questions um, about the legitimacy of his victory. How much do you guys keep that at the back of your minds, that his position may well be shaky and he may well not be the president going forward? You are the only one that is seeing that. We are not seeing that. <laughs> it says I'm the and only I, one and I wish you well in your, in your, in your dream. <laughs> You know. We are not I'm seeing the only that. One who's seen oh, you it, Charles and Agolu is the only yeah, one but, seeing but the, that. But the case is in court. Yeah, it is normal. Is there any elections since 1979 that the case didn't yeah, go but to I'm, court? I'm just saying that. Are you I am keeping saying it to you, Charles. I am saying to you, Charles, <laughs> that that election is the freest, the fairest, the most peaceful because he, Nigeria has ever had. Because INEC said he won. That's, who else could have said it? Is it you or MC <laughs> or who? Who could have said it won that INEC? INEC conducted an election. <laughs> You know, in the whole of Lagos, of uh, over, <laughs> over, oh, how many words we have in, oh, over, uh, polling booths we have in Lagos, over 13,000. We had violence in 84 polling booths, polling units, and some people say that because we had violence in 84 polling units, the election deserved to be cancelled. Well, that's not all they said, but so I, I don't really want to get I'm into all of that I'm saying to you that now, to the issue honest. of people going to court is a natural thing. Mm. What we want to discuss now we, the Bola Tinumbu uh, media team, what we want to discuss now is how do we move Nigeria forward? We had gone through the elections. We had won the elections. By the grace of God, we will be sworn in on the 29th of May as the 16th president of Nigeria. There is no question about that. That is not controvertible. That is not contestable. And, and, and uh, by the time we have, we have hit the ground running, we've appointed the chief of staff. All appointments will be coming on from now.
and work would start. By the time Nigerians see how serious we are and how good we are, how dexterous we are at running Nigeria, Nigeria will, Nigeria will fall in line. Nigerians will fall in line. With, regard, with regards to those that are going to court, it is exercise of their, of their rights. Everybody has a right, and the Constitution permits you to exercise your right as much as you wish. Therefore, we don't have a problem. We are working. They are going to court. No right. problem. Okay. On that note, I want to thank you very much. Indeed. So short. <laughs> Why does everyone want all the time in the world? I've just yeah. spoken for five minutes, and no, you are no, saying you're thank you. You've spoken for five minutes. You've spoken for about 20 minutes. But... I want to thank you. Thank and, you, my and brother. Please come back. It's always a pleasure to have you thank here. Thank you very Otumba much. Thank Ajiboye is a member of the APC Presidential Campaign Council. Thank you ever so much. Thank you very much. That's it for this edition of Arise Primetime. Join us again tomorrow from me and the entire team here in Abuja and London. Bye-bye and thank you for watching.